Hello and welcome to Highlights of Stage 1 of the UAE Tour. The Dubai stage today, 122 kilometers. The riders had 4.7 kilometers neutral section, rolling out of the amazing Dubai Miracle Garden and finishing in the Dubai Harbour. Four stages this year's race, 468 kilometers in total. Three flat stages for the sprinters and one mountain top finish on stage three up to the now famous Jeb. Hafi. Two intermediate sprints along the route for the riders and it was a very active day for the top girls Fasa Bortolo team with Guy Segato going clear late on in the stage with Janina Kuskova of the Tashkent women's team. We were heading towards the final intermediate sprint of the day as Latifa Bint Hamdan rode. The first sprint of the day had been taken by Segato's teammate Alice Palazzi, head of Los Haragast and Carline Swinkles. Three, two and one bonus seconds on offer at the sprint. The peloton were closing and were looking to rush the breakaway, but they just left Left it fractionally late and it was the young Uzbekistan rider that came across the line to take maximum bonus seconds and points. Lotta Kopecki just out sprinted Mobby Star's Claire Steele's behind to take the one bonus second. The new world champion looking resplendent in her rainbow jersey. Unfortunately, the run in towards the finish was marred by multiple crashes. One very far up towards the front of the peloton took down some big names, including Movi Star's Claire Steeles, who would be the final rider to remount her bike. And as Movi Star's general classification rider, it would be a big chase for the Movi Star leader to come back into the peloton. A sprint stage, though, was setting up. The big question was, could anyone prevent Lorena Vives from taking the stage victory? The front of the peloton just really allowed everything to regroup in towards the finish. And it would be a last-ditch effort by Karina Schrempf the Austrian national champion of the Fenix de Koenig team who attacked with just over two kilometers to go. There was one final corner with 750 meters up towards the line. The sprinters teams were leaving it late. The wide highways were making it chaotic to try and control the front of the peloton. Strength in numbers though for Team SD Works. 61 victories last season. They were looking to record their first of the 2024 season. Team DSM, UAE, ADQ all looking to set up for their sprinters. It was Sylvia Persico who came through to try and get the sprint ready for Chiara Consone. Five for Georgie of DSM Fermanick was in second wheel. Rakeli Barbieri, their protected sprinter with Charlotte Cole, unfortunately not able to start the UAE tour because of illness. It was chaos and mayhem, though. No team really managing to get supremacy until Barbara Grorischke of Team SD works with Lotta Kopecki on the wheel. Lorena Vivas was fighting to stay right on the wheel of the rainbow jersey. Letizia Paternoster of the Liv Aluda Jayco team was right locked in on the wheel of Vivas, but she was trying to lead out for teammate Georgia Baker. Kopecki. The last line of attack in the lead out for Lorena Vives. Consoni went wide but had to find a way through traffic. But once Lorena Vives opened it up, there would be no mistaking the supremacy of the world's fastest sprinter who opened her account for 2024 with a fantastic victory here in the UAE Tour. Raquelie Barbieri, Chiara Consoni all getting up there in the sprint along with Georgia Baker, Maggie Coles Lister and an incredible finish by the young Movi Star Lider, Lucia Louis Paris. Your top 10 look like this. Lorena Vivas from Raquelie Barbieri, Chiara Consoni, Baker Coles Lister, Fortan Perez, Colin Eddie, Pecky and Caponi, your top 10. Stage win for Lorena Vivas on day one. Stage two is a 113 kilometre stage and it's a flat one yet again. Can anyone take a stage win away from the fastest rider in the world? Join us tomorrow for more highlights.